Hi, question number 10. The points A and B have position vectors uh, 2i minus 3j plus 2k and 5i minus 2j plus k respectively. The plane P has equation x plus y is equal to 5. First part, find the position vector of the point of intersection of the line through A and B in the plane P. Second part, the second plane Q has an equation of the form x plus by plus cz is equal to d, where b, c and d are constants. The plane Q contains the line AB and the acute angle between the planes P and Q is 60 degrees. Find the equation of Q. 7 marks for the second part, in all 11 marks. Now for the first part of this question we have vector OA and vector OB. So what we need to find is vector AB first. The reason for this is I want to find the equation of the line AB. Okay, so vector AB is going to give us um, 5 minus 2, which is 3, minus 2 minus minus 3, which is then 1, 1 minus 2 is going to be minus 1. Therefore, a vector equation of the line AB will be given by certain, uh, I mean, will be given by the vector OA, which is 2 minus 3, 2 a certain parameter and then the direction vector which is 3 minus 1 3 1 minus 1 so a general point in the plane so that's that's the plane okay the line is coming and intersecting with the plane here so and the plane has equation the plane is plane P it has equation X um, what is it X plus Y is equal to 5 so what we're going to do we're going to take the general point 2 plus 3 lambda and this is X so we have 2 plus 3 lambda, which is x, then minus 3 plus lambda, and also I have 2 minus lambda. Now we can substitute these coordinates into the equation of the plane. So we have then 2 plus 3 lambda, which is x, plus y, and y is minus 3 plus lambda, so minus 3 plus lambda. And if you do that, it's going to be equal to 5. Okay, so then we're going to solve 2 minus 3 is minus 1, you send minus 1 the other side becomes plus 1, 5 plus 1 is 6. 3 lambda plus lambda is 4 lambda, you send 4 on the other side becomes divide, so we have 3 over 2. And the point of intersection then will be given by, so point of intersection, okay, the point of intersection will be given by 2 plus 3 lambda, which is then 2 plus 3 times 3 over 2 which is 9 over 2 then I've got um, minus 3 plus lambda here we go minus 3 plus 3 over 2 and I have 2 minus lambda which is then 2 minus 3 over 2 so let's do the addition this plus that's going to be 13 over 2 minus 3 plus 3 over 2 is going to give us minus 3 over 2 and then the other one is going to be 3 minus 3 which is going to be half therefore the point of intersection can be given as if you want um, 13 over 2 i minus 3 over 2 j and then plus half k so that's the first part to this question Okay, for the second part, uh, we are told that there is a second plane and the plane is plane Q. Let us suppose that this is the plane Q. In that plane, we have the line AB. The equation of the plane is given as X plus BY plus CZ is equal to D. Now, we know that the coordinates of A was given as 2 minus 3 and 2, and that of B was given as 5 minus 2 and when the first thing we can do, we can substitute the coordinates into this equation here. Substituting A into this equation, we're going to end up with um, <coughs> 2 minus uh, 3B plus 2C is equal to D. And substituting the second one, we're going to get 5 minus 2B um, plus, uh, plus is, here it was 2C. All right, then this one's going to be plus C is equal to D. And as we can see, D and D is common here, so we can subtract. And if we do that, we're going to end up with minus 3 minus B plus C is equal to 0, which means that minus B plus C is equal to 3. Or you can say 
C is equal to, if you want, uh, 3 plus B. Now that's the first equation. So, also the plane P makes an angle of 60 degrees with the plane Q. Right, so what can we make of this? If it makes an angle of 60 degrees and we know that this plane here has equation X plus Y is equal to 5, we can, uh, to find the angle between the two planes, we can dot product their direction vectors. Direction vector of this one is going to be 1, 1, 0, so 1, 1, 0. And you dot product with um, direction vector of the second plane, 1, B, C, and uh, divided by the magnitude, magnitude of 1 to the square, 1 to the square is 2, times here the magnitude of 1 to the square plus b to the square plus c to the square and all of that's going to give us cos of 60 degrees and that's going to give us half okay now from here 1 times 1 1 times b is going to be 1 plus b and 0 times is 0 okay divided by the square root of um, 2 times the whole lot that is um, 1 plus b square plus c square all right and that's going to give us half and let us do the uh, okay we have we can do it here we have more space down here push us push this up a little bit yeah so I've got then um, 1 plus B all right times 2 okay is equal to the square root of 2 into 1 plus B square plus C square if you remove the square root you're going to get 4 here into 1 plus B all is squ all squared is equal to uh, 2 into 1 plus b square plus c square. 2 can cross out with this and I have then 2 into 1 plus 2b plus b square. Expand this is equal to 1 plus b square plus c square. So from here I have um, 2 plus 2b all right plus Two plus two b plus two uh, b square. No, two plus four b. Sorry, two plus four b plus b square. Let's put this up more like this here. So, and that's going to give us one plus b square plus c square. So two b square minus b square is going to be equal to b square, and then I've got plus four b. All right, two minus one is one. Is equal to c to the square. So b square plus 4b plus 1 is equal to um, c square, and we found that c was 3 plus b. So 3 plus b all squared. So b squared plus 4b plus 1 okay, is equal to uh, 9 plus 6b plus b square. So this can cancel out, and I'm left with 6b minus 4b is going to be equal to 2b, and I'm going to get... Uh, this on this side, 1 minus 9 is going to be minus 8, and therefore B is going to give us minus 4. And what we have for C, C is going to be, okay, 3 plus B, so 3 plus minus 4, and therefore C is going to be minus 1. Now that we found the values of B and C, we can find the equation of a plane. The equation of a plane is uh, X plus BY plus C, so it's equal to D. So we have then X, which is... Um, x itself, okay, minus 4y, okay, and then plus cz, so that means uh, c is going to be minus, 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 minus 1, so minus 1, that means minus z, is equal to d. Now, to be able to find d, okay, that's quite easy, so we proceed by uh, taking any of those uh, equations here, and that was, uh, let me just bring it back here, 2 minus 3b plus 2c is equal to d. So we can say d is equal to um, 2 minus 3b. So that's going to be then 2 minus 3 times b, and b was found to be minus 4, and then plus 2c, 2 times minus 1. So that's going to be 2 plus 12 minus 2, and therefore d is going to be equal to 12. So we have the equation of the plane q, as then x minus 4y minus z is equal to 12.
And here we are for this question, taken from June 2013, A-Level Maths, Paper 3.